How's it going everybody? Today's video is going to be about my hydroponic system that I got going on, which is my drink to waste and why it's effective. And uh, we'll talk about the differences of the other hydroponic setups. And uh, so let's get to it guys. Um, so we have two 27 gallon reservoirs right here guys that I got at Home Depot. Like I said, my system's not to put a dent in your wallet. It's a, uh, this was all done in a budget. And, uh, and like I said, hydroponics shouldn't be expensive to grow your healthy or you know your healthy food, guys. So, uh, or you're growing super hots, <laughs> whatever you guys got going on on your hydroponic system. So, uh, I have two 27 gallon reservoirs. This is plain water right here, guys. It's from my water hose, my garden hose. So uh, it ain't nothing special. It's not. There's no filters attached to it. Could it be better? Yes, but this is what I'm working with, guys. That's my nutrient reservoir right there. That's where my pump is at, where it feeds my drip irrigation drain to waste system. So, the purpose of this water reservoir tank is uh, when my nutrient, the volume, the level goes down, which it feeds four times a day, two minute intervals. It feeds about five gallons per feeding, right? So, when that level goes down by gravity, my water reservoir tops off this nutrient reservoir. You guys are saying while well, your nutrients are getting uh, depleted, that it's getting more uh, diluted. Well, yeah, that's true. But like I said, and this is key, guys, and please pay attention because uh, uh, there's a lot of people and there's a lot of uh, information out there on the web that uh, is misguiding us uh, hydroponic growers. And uh, trust me, I was in your guys' shoes. So uh, pay attention to this, guys, because it's very important. And uh, if you guys understand this, then you guys will have a good growing season as well. Pepper plants, super oats, or any other plant that you have. Pepper plants, they tend to drink more water than uptake nutrients, guys. Okay? They drink more water, guys. So a little bit goes a long way, okay? So, like I said, like if we're eating, we're stuffing our faces, One at one point we're gonna need to drink water. We're gonna have to drink and flush it down. So it's the same concept right with plants. Don't you put nutrients on top of these nutrients because uh, these nutrients that are in here, they're already bonded. So when you put new nutrients, that new nutrients ain't gonna bond with the old nutrients. And that's where you start getting concentrations and where it becomes acidic to your plants. And that's where you guys start uh, running across deficiencies. Deficiencies are when your plant starts getting ill, you start noticing yellowing, black spots, leaves are falling off. It, it, it's 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 a whole mess guys and like I said you know I'm just trying to help you guys so you know we can prevent all of that from happening because you know what at one point it happened to me and uh, why this system is effective guys okay let me uh, walk down to my hydroponic garden so you get so we can talk more about this okay guys so why this why is it why is this setup awesome why is it effective why is this my choice of growing method from all the other, other hydroponic setups? Well, a drain to waste system, what happens is that every feeding that occurs throughout the day is constantly flushing out all the residue that's within your medium, meaning your salt buildups or whatever that's occurring in your medium. So every time it feeds, it's feeding off new nutrients. It's never feeding off the old. So after it's done feeding, for the entire day of nutrients, every feed, the food is less and less. So by the end of the day, you know, it's fed off whatever's in the reservoir. So the next day, guys, it is feeding off plain water, guys. I fill up my reservoirs, both of them with water, and that's it. I let it feed off. Whatever is in the medium on the watering day, it is just going to consume whatever foods within your medium. So there is no, there's never a buildup in my medium. I don't ever run into any deficiencies whatsoever in this 2016 growing season, guys. It's all been nice. No headaches at all, guys. Besides my plants tipping over, <laughs> which is a good problem, guys, <laughs> when you have a very prolific garden. So uh, that being said, so one day it's fed nutrients. 
and every feeding it's less and less on the strength of the nutrients and like I said the next day it's just plain water so I'm just flushing and flushing every single thing that's in my medium so like I said there's no buildups whatsoever and you guys will not run into any issues whatsoever I'll tell you guys that if you guys are wondering where you get all these pieces all these parts you know don't don't let all this stuff intimidate you guys it's very it's fairly simple very easy and if you guys have a question just ask me I'll be more than happy to answer them for you and why I prefer this method my drink to waste compared to DWC and all those other hydroponic setups well because those nutrients that is feeding those plants on the other setups recirculates back into your nutrient reservoir which like I said you're putting salt back into you're putting concentrates back into your reservoir which in time you will have an acidic nutrient body uh, I mean body of nutrients of water now that's if you're not if you're flushing out your containers then that's good you know that's awesome if you guys are keeping up with that go for it that's awesome more power to you guys but in a drink to waste system I centralize my nutrients and water in two reservoirs and that's it all I have to worry about is those two reservoir tanks and that's it I get home fill up my water reservoir is there improvements in my system yeah I can improve it I could actually attach a garden hose to a half inch float valve or something on the water so I don't have to come out and water fill up the water that my, by my myself okay guys sorry about that but um, like I said I get home fill up my water reservoir tank and I mix up one gallon of nutrients like you guys seen in my other video and uh, that's it I dump it into my nutrient reservoir and that's it like I said I centralize all of it do I have to empty all my pots? No, just that's my reservoirs is all I have to worry about. Making sure my nutrients don't get concentrated. Making sure that these lines are constantly flushing. That's it. I don't ever have to worry about anything like that. I'm a busy guy and I keep it simple guys. I, it's it, gardening supposed to be easy. And that's what I'm trying to show you guys. If you guys are wondering what hydroponics is set up to go with next year, next season, I would highly recommend you guys go with a drain to waste system. A drip irrigation system like this, it's not, it's not hard to build. It's very easy. Very easy, guys. If you guys are wondering where to acquire all these parts, I'm going to link some, I'm going to put some links down on my description, guys. So check that out. And uh, those links, if you click onto them, it will direct you straight to Amazon where I purchased all these items. And uh, so yeah, guys, like I said, check out the description. All these parts are gonna be on my description. And uh, like I said, if you guys have any more questions about my setup, please f feel free to comment below, you know, or you guys can reach me at Google Plus Pepper Lovers Community or uh, Google Hangouts. Okay, guys? So again, a recap on all this. Why I prefer my drain to waste system is that I centralize all my nutrients and water on those two reservoir tanks. I don't have to worry about any salt buildups or anything being concentrated, being fed to my garden. It's constantly flushing out every feed. And uh, you will have one happy garden. So let's take a quick walk around my, around my garden really fast. Everything's all nice and green. My no-till organic garden, nice and green. That CPR plant has already reached 6'2", guys. It's as tall as me. Wider than me. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, guys. So that's my drain-to-waste setup. Will I be using this setup again next year? Best believe I will. This is my hydroponic setup that I prefer. And which I can tell you from my experience and from my results, it is one effective setup. All right, guys, please like the video, guys. Please subscribe and uh, stay tuned for other videos. All right, take care.